Hi, my name is Kesa Thomas and I am the owner and designer at Totally Designs, a handcrafted jewelry line that I established in 2010. Tonight, I wanna talk about handmade jewelry versus manufactured jewelry. And I wanna have this dialogue with all of my handmade artisans and anybody else who wants to join the conversation. But before we get started with that conversation, I would like for you to like, subscribe and share. And I want you to help me to get to my first um, thousand subscribers within the next couple of months. So with that being said, let's talk about handmade jewelry versus manufactured. Does it really matter? Is jewelry just jewelry? Or is there really a difference between the two? Well, I think so. I want to go ahead and talk about manufactured jewelry first. Manufactured jewelry, when I think about manufactured jewelry, I think about replicates. I think about a whole lot of duplicates of this one pattern, uh, pattern right? Well, with handmade, handmade is not necessarily duplicated. Most handmade jewelry artisans only make that particular um, design one time, or even if they make it again, it has a different spin on it. So it's not the same and it cannot be considered as duplicated, right? I think about passion that comes from the handmade artist. I think about the vision, the joy, the hope, the peace, even the sadness that goes into making this piece of jewelry, right? Think about what realm is the person in when they're making this jewelry. Now, going back to manufacturer for a second. Manufacturer, don't get me wrong. I believe it did start off as one vision, one touch, and then it became duplicated. Am I against manufacturer? No, I'm not. Because at some point, even us artisans, if we're trying to grow our business on a massive scale, there's going to be one item that we're going to replicate, right? Whether it's a ring, whether it's, you know, a pair of earrings, we might want to do replicas of that line. But what I'm really talking about tonight is, has handmade jewelry lost its thunder? It's thrill. Has it lost its audience? Does the audience that we're trying to get to buy the handmade jewelry, do they understand the quality of it? Do they understand the uniqueness of it? Do they even understand what it takes to build it? Do they understand that they're not only getting uniqueness or quality, they're getting ex an experience, right? And what do I mean by experience? They're getting the person's knowledge. They're getting the person's essence and they're putting it into this immaterial object and bringing it to life. It's sort of like, you know, Pinocchio coming to life, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm being funny there. Not a real boy but an artificial boy. <laughs> now, anyway, let's go back to the subject. I get carried away sometimes and I get these little references. But what I'm really talking about tonight is I'm looking at the fact that I do lives, right? I've been doing lives for the last three to four years. And what I've noticed is there's not very many of me on live selling jewelry. Now, I could be wrong. Now, if you're one of those that are on uh, Facebook and you're selling your handmade jewelry online, please leave me a link. I really want to pair up with you. I want to have a conversation with you. And I want to actually follow you on Facebook because I want to see what you are doing. Now, back to my original thought. I see all these manufactured lines, ring bombs and paparazzi and all all these other um, unique, you know, manufactured lines, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of handmade. And I'm wondering if handmade has lost its vigor. Is it obsolete? Is it a thing of the past? Is it too expensive? What are people's thoughts about that? Now, I don't want to keep going on and on in the video, but I do want to 
to know what your thoughts are. I'm curious because this is a fascinating conversation for me. So with that being said, I am signing out. My name is Kesa Thomas. I'm the owner of Totally Designs and Handcrafted Jewelry Line that I established in 2010. And I am looking forward to this conversation. Go ahead and leave me something in the chat.